Hey guys, welcome back to the Moore Medic One. Today I'm on a road call. I am headed out to one of my facilities. The operator said that uh, the blade just fell off. So let's go check it out and see what's happened. He also said that a uh, one of the deck wheels uh, broke off. Well, it looks like he's already got them out for me. This is the one he's talking about, the mid-mount 225. Yep, I can see the deck wheel gone. Let's get it up in the air and get it checked out. That's another grasshopper there, the 721G. Yep, it come off. The screw broke right off inside the spindle. I was just saying that that screw was broke off inside the spindle. Yeah, but I think maybe I can get it out with this screwdriver if it's got enough of a lip on it. Yeah, we'll be able to get her out now. Get a pair of these line pliers. And it should. For some reason, it's going to burr on it. It'll go halfway around and stick. There we go. There we go. Nope, stuck again. Take your pliers. Just enough where you can't get it by hand. He hits something. Let's see where that broke off. Here's a perfect example of a stretched bolt. You see how it's kind of concaved right here that's where that bolt right there was about to break this bolt is no good I'm gonna have to end up putting bolts in all the spindles for the blades here's a non stretched bolt compared to the one that I took off a second ago you can see how much longer that bolt is a good 3 sixteenths you know, quarter inch longer than it should be. I'm gonna get into my goodie box here. Um, these factory bolts, I don't like them. They stretch like that. But what I do is I go down to the hardware store and I get me some grade eight bolts. Now that's a good bolt, even though this bolt does not have a shoulder on it, like the factory bolt. All I do is get me a lock washer stand up there and now that's good that'll work just to ensure that the threads are not damaged just take you a new bolt your your new bolt and just thread it in by hand several threads this one's going to go all the way so we're good there I'm going to go ahead and install a new set of blades for this guy and then I'm going to caution him about not running over stuff and hitting stuff because you can tell the other end of this bolt is definitely focus there please it's been hitting concrete looks like he may have hit a curb or something A lot of people get confused of the order of the bolts and washers and cups but uh, first thing is your bolt your lock washer then the flat washer 
if it's cupped from being tightened, just flip it over. Now your where'd it go? Big washer. Fiber washer. And then your blade. that and then your cup with the internal washer and then your big washer where did it go oh. right here goes down in there just like that just get everything together it's much easier to do it like this got all your washers and bolts and just raise the assembly to the spindle like this and just use one hand to get everything started sure everything is centered. You want to make sure that definitely make sure that the washer that fits in between this cup and the blade is in there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up the blade a little bit and then I'm going to remove the blade and then double triple check and make sure that washer is seated flush. If you don't it's going to vibrate like crazy. Here's the washer I'm talking about. It, it has got to be in between or it's actually uh, pressed into this plastic cup right here so whenever you go on with it you need to be sure when you tighten it up that this does not get on one side of this cup or the other but it's flush all the way around here all the way here's a better shot of that washer see if I can get in the sunlight better If that washer is not in there correctly, your blade, it'll get tight, but uh, it's going to be canted or cocked to one side, and it'll vibrate, like I said, but uh, let's go ahead and get the rest of these off, and I will see how she turns out. <laughs> We got lucky on this one by extracting that bolt with a screwdriver and a punch and a hammer. I'll put a link in the description below how to remove broken bolts that are stuck. But uh, other than that, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You can either drill them out or you can ease them out and uh, or you can use the method that I talked about just a second ago. But I'll put it, like I said, I'll put a link. We got the broken bolt out of the spindle without having to repair a spindle or replacing a shaft so that's good so if you have any questions about grasshopper mowers let me know how to get broken bolts out luckily we didn't have to easy out or drill this more medic one y'all have a great day see you on the next video